Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again. And in this episode, we are doing the Leo Paracord Bracelet done not in loop style. We are continuing the Zodiac series that was of course authored by Cetus550 and hope you guys will enjoy this one. That being said, let's get into it. In terms of paracord, my zebra strands are the core strands with the longer one being the main weaving strand and the shorter one being the two strand core. And then of course, I've got the other two colors for the main colors of the bracelet. To start this one off, I've got the two main colors and the shorter core strand in the middle here. I'm gonna take the longer zebra strand and find the midpoint of the rest of the strands and do a cow's hitch around the midpoint right there. Take the running ends and put them through that top loop. Have them come out nice and evenly. And then with the left side strand, I'm gonna move it to the left and the right side strand, I'm gonna move it to the right. So they kind of split like so. And now with the strand on the right side, I'm gonna pass it through the middle of that cow's hitch going from the right to the left like so. Pull that all the way through. And then from there with the left side strand, I'm going to take that running end as well and pass it through the cow hitch going from the left to the right. This is going to form our start of our knot and loop bracelet. So from here, firm up that knot and ensure that you have a uh, loop up top that's big enough for your diamond knot. I think anywhere from half an inch to about three quarters of an inch is big enough. Cinch up that knot, get it nice and firm and make sure all your remaining cords are nice and even so you have even amounts of cord on each side. Next, I'm gonna get this on my jig and I've got the nail up top hitched on that loop there. And at the very bottom, I'm just gonna tie a couple of snake knots. You can just tie um, you know, an overhand knot if you want, but I feel like the snake knots are a bit more even. Just tie a couple of snake knots so that I have um, something to hitch the nail onto. And of course, I'm going to adjust that later. I don't have the exact size of my bracelet planned out just yet. So now going back up to the top, I'm going to start working with our zebra strands and you're going to cross them over behind the two strand core like so. Then working with the firefighter strand, I'm going to cross those over as well. Got the right over the left. Now working with the right strand, I'm going to Pass it through that outer crook there that's behind the two strand core. Make sure you get all twists out. And then from here, I'm going to pass the running end through the two strand core from the middle, going from the front to the back. You see, we've kind of made an X there on the right side. And right in the middle, underneath that X, you're going to pass the running strand from the back to the front through that same crook. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but mirrored. So now on the left side, I'm gonna pass the running end through the left crook from the back to the front. Then have that strand go through the middle in between the two core strands. And then bring it back to the front through that same crook just underneath that sort of crossed over X like so. So that's our first part of the knot. And now with your opposite color, you're going to take the right side strand and just do a loop around the zebra strands that are running horizontal in between the two core strands and just run it right around and have the running end come out on the left side of the strand. Okay, so that's on one side. Now going to the other side, the left side strand, pass it through the middle, loop it around the two zebra strands running horizontally. And this time have the running end coming out on the right. So as you can see, both of those working ends are on the inside like so. And from here, you're just going to cinch up this first knot. And uh, this one is a little bit trickier to cinch up. Uh, you won't be able to get it, be able to get it super tight. Just the key is to get uh, firm tension on all the knots and make it nice and even for each and every knot so that you don't get that sort of wavy um, effect in your bracelet. So cinch that knot up and get it all the way to the top. And now we have our colors kind of swapped. So that's our first knot. Now we're just going to repeat the same process, but the colors will be swapped. So I'm going to cross over these zebra strands behind 
take the navy strands, cross them over. I'm going to do left and then right on top. The right side strand, I'm going to wrap it around that outer crook, going in from the back and coming out the front. And from there, bring it to the middle, go through and in between the two core strands, go around the back and then come back out that crook from behind to the front and right underneath the sort of X that's created by the two navy strands that are crossing over each other. Same thing on the other side. To wrap it around that crook on the outermost left side. And then bring the cord to the front and then go back through the middle in between the two core strands and wrap it from the back out to the front again through the crook and underneath the X that's created by the two navy strands. Now with the firefighter strands, you're going to bring it through the middle again, wrapping around the two horizontal zebra strands. And again, do the same thing, have the running ends coming out the middle. Okay, both strands on the inside. Then you're going to cinch it up like the previous knot. Again, cinch up all your cords nice and evenly. And uh, yeah, just take your time with this one, this one. I like to use my knotter's tool again and just to work on those loops and get all the slack out. So that is the pattern. You're just going to continue tying those knots over and over all the way down your core. And you'll just have those alternating colors with the same knot repeated. So I made my way down my bracelet. I've got the desired length and I've stopped here with the red strands. And to finish this off, I'm just going to pass those red strands in between the two core strands. So I've kind of got all my working colors now coming out the back of the bracelet. And with the zebra strands on the outside, I'm just going to tie a single cobra knot. Okay. So that should be enough to hold everything in place and sort of uh, lock down this bracelet. And of course I am going to do the clean finish. So from here, I'm going to remove the bracelet off my jig. I'm going to turn it around. And from here, I want to do the clean finish for the cobra knot. So I'm going to loosen that strand at the back and take the strand on the left side pass it underneath that loop and just pull it shut and then pull the excess all the way out. I do have a lot of excess cord, but don't worry, I've adjusted the measurements at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to cinch down that last knot nice and tightly and then pull that all the way through. And of course, from here, all that remains is we just clip off our excess cords. I'm going to clip off those excess zebra strands melt them with my lighter and press down on it with the knotter's tool. And with the remaining firefighter and Navy strands, I'm just going to clip all those off in one fell swoop. And once again, melt with my lighter and press down with my knotter's tool. And for my lanyard knot, I'm just going to use the good old diamond knot. So creating a counterclockwise loop with the right side strand, I'm going to put it over the left left side strand goes around and take that working end and go underneath that little middle section of the cord in the middle of that loop. And now from here, I'm going to take the right side strand, bring it around to the other side and go through the middle out, go through the middle of the knot from the sort of top to the bottom, same on the other side. And of course, if that diamond knot demonstration was too quick, you can check my dedicated tutorial for that link in the description box down below. And I'm just going to cinch up that knot to where I need it, move it closer to the base of my bracelet and any excess strands I'm going to clip off with my lighter, melt with the knotter's tool. So there we go. There is the Leo Paracord bracelet, another Zodiac bracelet done. And as always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you guys want access to exclusive videos as well as our Discord server, uh, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to hit that like button to support the channel. And if you enjoyed what I did in this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.